The pandemic bringing telemedicine to the forefront of health care. Over the last year, it has surged some 3,000 percent. But could it also help curb climate change? CBS 13's Heather Jansen with its green impacts. At this Lincoln Urgent Care, Dr. Eric Ellis sees most of his patients in person, but some rooms sit empty when minor things can be done online. A lot of times people, it's more of a screening thing. Hey, look, do I need to come in for this? There's just something to be concerned about. In many places, the trend picking up speed. And what brings you in today? Telemedicine what? hit record highs. Well, a 3,000% increase in telehealth visits just over the last year. And have you gone to the doctor at all about These virtual the visits add inconvenience for both doctors and patients, but it could aid another emergency. Climate change is such a crisis. Curbing the climate change crisis with less drive time and greenhouse gas emissions, this new turning point, as we're told, America's healthcare systems contribute to 10 percent of all carbon. That's actually more than the total carbon from quite a number of countries. A pre pandemic UC Davis study spanning the course of nearly two decades found using telemedicine for basic appointments and consultations kept patients from traveling more than 5 million miles. That's about nine years' time and nearly $3 million saved. Less waste than there might be in an in person encounter. UC Davis's Dr. James Marson, a telemedicine expert, says it also cuts down care costs and the use of plastics. He says soon patients may be able to do even more at home. Technologies are being developed, you know, so that you're able to look inside somebody's ear, throat. Meanwhile, Dr. Ellis adapting with each year. Medicine is definitely moving toward, towards more, you know, technology. The pandemic shining a light on telemedicine's environmental impacts, as many doctors hope part of this online surge sticks. Doctors say, of course, there are still many things you need to physically be seen for, especially any kind of pain, but basic consultations online could be the way of the future.